Hi, Vanessa here. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to crochet this throw blanket. It's really big, so I will have to just show you a photo. So this is basically the edge of it right now. So this blanket is approximately 37 inches wide and 74 inches long. So I will be providing a timestamp in the description box so that you can hop around to the section that you need. We are going to be covering a lot of different stitches and I'm not going to be working every stitch really slow. I will demonstrate how to work each stitch and then I'm just going to move forward. So if you need, you can actually speed up the video or slow down the video or you can pause if you need to. Okay, so I used a combination of two different types of yarn. This is Yarn Inspirations Burnett and this one's Velvet, which is the soft velvet here. And then this one is Symphony. It's a wool and acrylic blend. So I'm just making a sample and this is what I'm going to be using. This is the Symphony and the color is Royal. So this here is Olive and this is Frosted Pine. And then I have a darker blue here, which is indigo. Okay, for the materials, I used a total of six balls. I had two of the Symphony, and then I have four of the Velvet. I used a USK six and a half millimeters, and then tape measure, pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle. And you'll also need some stitch markers. Okay, a special thanks to Joanne Stores for sponsoring today's video tutorial. Let's get started then. Okay, so I started with the Symphony yarn. I'm going to start with a slip knot. Okay, so you wanna chain 113. For this sample here, I'm going to chain 24 plus one. So it's in multiples of eight plus one. So to keep track of the number of chain stitches you have, because 113 is a lot, you can place a marker every 10th stitch or 20th or whatever works for you. Okay, so I have 24. I'm going to crochet one more chain stitch. So we're going to work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Here's the first and there's the second. Now this part is important. You're going to turn and work through the humps, okay? So insert your hook through the back hump, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. So that's one single crochet. Now we're going to find the next stitch here. And again, I'm working through the back humps, one single crochet. So you want to work one single crochet in every chain stitch across, and you should end up with 112 single crochet stitches. Okay, so we want to work one single crochet into every chain stitch across. Okay, so you should end with 112 single crochet stitches. Okay, so this is our foundation row one. We're going to have another foundation row, so a foundation row two. We're going to start by working a chain two, so one, two, and then turn your work. Now this chain two counts as a half double crochet stitch. And this is the wrong side of your work. So if you need help figuring out which side is wrong and which side is right, go ahead and grab a stitch marker and place it on the right side of your work. So I'm going to place it back here because I'm now working on the wrong side. Okay, so this is the wrong side and that's the right side where I marked it. Okay, so we're going to skip two stitches. Because this is part of the chain two, we're just going to ignore that one. Skip one, two, into the third stitch, we're going to work two double crochet stitches. Yarn over, 
insert your hook into that third stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Okay, so we're going to work another double crochet, yarn over, into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and then into the next stitch we're going to work another two double crochets into that same stitch. Okay, so into the next stitch, two double crochet stitches. All right, so now we're going to skip two again. So we worked here, here we're skipping one, two, into the third and fourth stitch here, we're going to work one half double crochet in each of those. So yarn over, insert your hook into that third stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, into the next stitch, another half double crochet. So your repeat starts at this half double crochet. You're going to work one half double crochet, skip two, and then into the next two, you're going to work two double crochets, chain two, and then two double crochets into this one. And then skip two, and then again, we're working a half double crochet, and then you start again with the other half double crochet. So you want to end with one half double crochet, into the last stitch. So I started with my half double crochet, skip two, two double crochets into the next stitch. Chain two, two double crochets into the next stitch. Skip two, one half double crochet into the next stitch, and then one half double crochet into the next. Skip two, two double crochets, one, two, chain two, two double crochets into the next stitch. skip two, and then I'm at the end. So you'll repeat that until the end. One half double crochet in the last stitch. Okay, so that was our foundation row two. Now we're actually starting on row one. Chain two and turn. Now this chain two counts as a half double crochet stitch. So we're going to work one of these shell stitches in the chain two space. So now we're working two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets right into this chain two space. So right into the chain two space, work two double crochets. So there's one and two chain two and two double crochets into that same chain two space. Okay, so we're going to skip all these stitches into the next half double crochet stitch. You're going to work a front post double crochet. So that's a raised stitch where we will not work into the top of the stitch like this. We're going to work around the actual stem or post of the half double crochet. Okay, so this is working around the post and we're working from the front. We're not working from the back. We'll do that on the other side. So we're working around the post, yarn over, insert your hook, okay, right around the post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so in the next half double crochet, we're going to do the same thing. 
Yarn over, working around the post from the front of your work. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so we're going to repeat that all the way across, working your shell stitch here in the chain two space and your two front post double crochets. You're going to repeat that all the way to the end and then when you reach the end, you're going to work just one half double crochet into the last stitch. We're not working a post stitch on the edges. Okay, chain two space, work a shell stitch, two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets all into the chain two space. The next two half double crochets we're going to work a front post double crochet around each of the next two half double crochets. Okay, that's one. And two. Okay, chain two space, work your shell stitch of two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets, all into the same chain two space. When you get to the end, you're going to work one half double crochet in the turning chain. So we had a chain two here, one, two. You want to work right in the top of the chain two. Okay, if I turn this around, that's chain one and that's your chain two. Row two, and it's just a row one and two repeat. So chain two, turn, Again, chain two counts as a half double crochet. So right into the next chain two space, work your shell stitch, two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. Okay, so the difference between the first row and this row is that now we're going to work back post double crochets because we want to maintain the raised stitches on the right side of our work. So what that means is we're going to work around the post of the double crochet stitches but we're working from behind our work. So you're going to yarn over and instead of going around from the front and when I say front it's the side you're working on, you're going to go around it from the back. Okay, just like that. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so the next double crochet we're going to work a back post double crochet as well. Yarn over, go from behind around the post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so now we've worked the raised stitches on the correct side. This is our front side. We want to maintain the raised stitches on this side. Okay, so you're going to repeat that all the way across, working one half double crochet into the turning chain. So it's just like the first row, except we're working a back post double crochet instead of a front post double crochet. Okay, into the next chain two space, work your shell stitch, two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Back post double crochet, yarn over, go from behind around the post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. One more back post double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, shell stitch in the next chain two space. Two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. Okay, 
Okay, so we're at the end. You're going to work one half double crochet into the turning chain. If you have trouble finding the turning chain, turn your work around and then you can see your chain one and chain two. It's The chain one is kind of small, but it's chain one, chain two, and then this one is my double crochet. So I wanna work into the chain two. And if it gets really difficult, just go into the space. Just work your half double crochet into that space. I'll show you what that looks like, okay? I've done that many times and it turns out fine, um, but it's really up to you. All right, so into the second chain from your turning chain, work a half double crochet. So repeat rows one and two once more, and you will have five rows of these shell stitches. So you can just easily count one, two, three, and then you'll have the fourth and fifth one. Okay, so I'm going to stop here, but you will work another two rows, okay? So repeat rows one and two once more, and then you're going to fasten off. Okay, just yarn over and pull through and then tighten that part. Now we're going to start working on our foundation side. So at this point, I switched to the color olive. And the reason why I'm not using the velvet is as soft as it is, it's really hard to see the stitches. Okay, so switching colors to whatever you're using. You may be using the same yarn throughout your project. So I switched to the velvet and I fastened on here. Make sure it's the right side of your work. So the reason why I said that it's important to work through the humps is so that you can clearly see the nice edges of the foundation stitch so that you can work into those stitches for this part of the pattern. So I'm just going to work a slip knot, place it on my hook, pull it through, and then I'm going to tighten this. And if you didn't work through the back humps, that's fine too. Just go ahead and work into the stitches down here. Now I'm going to chain two. So this counts as a half double crochet stitch. So for this part, I worked three rows of half double crochet stitches. If you want less ends to weave after you've secured your new color, you can hold your yarn along your work and just work over it. I only do that when I've tied the two different strands that I'm changing and making sure that it's tight. Okay, so this one counts as a half double crochet into the next stitch here. So this is the first stitch that belongs to this chain two into the next stitch. You're going to work a half double crochet yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. All right, so just work one half double crochet in every stitch across. Okay, again, you can place markers along your work to keep track of your stitch count. So I did that, I placed markers every 10 stitch so that I didn't have to keep going back to count my stitches. Okay, so for row two and three of the half double crochets, you're going to chain two, turn your work. We're going to skip this stitch here because it belongs to the chain two. Into the next stitch, we're going to work one half double crochet. And then into every stitch across, work one half double crochet. When you get to the end, you'll repeat that last row, working another half double crochet row. So I'm going to stop here. So you should end on the right side, working three rows of half double crochets. And you want to start on the wrong side of your work. Okay, so after your three rows of half double crochet stitches, you're going to be on your right side and you'll start your next set of stitches on the wrong side. So you wanna stop and end on your right side, fasten off. 
So I switched to the frosted pine color now. And once you fasten on, you're going to be on the wrong side and you want to chain three. Again, I'm not using the velvet yarn because it's really hard to see in the camera. So the chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. Again, we're skipping this stitch because it belongs to the chain three. Into the next stitch, we're going to work one double crochet. Okay, now you're going to work one double crochet into every stitch across. Again, I recommend placing stitch markers every 10th or 20th stitch. I found that it was a little difficult to see these stitches with my velvet yarn, so um, placing the markers was a really big help. So don't forget that you always work your last stitch in the turning chain. A lot of beginners miss that stitch and they end up with less and less stitch every row. So it's important to keep track of your stitch count. Okay, row two, we're just going to turn. Okay, so now we're going to work the pocket group stitch, but I'll call it clusters or group. The last double crochet that we worked, we're going to work around the stem or the post of this stitch here. So we're going to work one single crochet, one half double crochet, and then one double crochet all around this stem here. So we're going to start with one single crochet. So go around these posts here, yarn over, pull up a loop. Okay, now you have two loops, yarn over, pull through both loops. Around the same post again, we're going to work a half double crochet. Yarn over, work around the same post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, again, around the post, this time we're working a double crochet stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, around the same post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, now we're going to skip two stitches. Okay, here's one, two. We're going to work one slip stitch into the third stitch. So we're skipping one, two, into the third stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on your hook. Now we're going to repeat this cluster of stitches here in the same post that we worked our slip stitch. So this stitch here, we're going to work in the post of the same stitch we worked our slip stitch. So around the post, just like when you were working your front post double crochet, you want to work one single crochet. And you can turn your work so that it's easier to work around. One half double crochet, yarn over, around the post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through three loops. Now one more stitch which is going to be your double crochet stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook around the post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So now we have another one of those cluster stitches. Okay, so the repeat is working this cluster stitch here. Skip two stitches, work a slip stitch into the next. And then repeat again, cluster, skip two, one slip stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across and you should end with one slip stitch into the turning chain. So, so the third chain from your beginning chain three on this side. Okay around the post, one single crochet, one half double crochet, and one double crochet. So skip two, one slip stitch, work your group stitch, 
one single crochet, one half double crochet, and one double crochet. Okay, skip two, one slip stitch, okay, group stitch. So go ahead and repeat all the way across. Skip two, slip stitch, and work your cluster. Group stitch. Okay, so you should end with skip two and then one slip stitch into the turning chain. So that's row two of this stitch pattern. Row three, we're going to chain three and turn. The chain three counts as your first double crochet stitch. Now we're going to work double crochet stitches across. So in these two that you skip, you'll work one double crochet in each of those two stitches. So this stitch here is the one where you worked your clusters. You're going to work one double crochet on top of that stitch as well. So in each of these two skip stitches and then on top of that double crochet where you worked your cluster. So we're never working into the actual clusters. We're working into the stitches behind the cluster, okay? Into the first two double crochet stitches, we're going to work one double crochet each. Okay, now into this stitch here where the post is, just insert right on top. It's going to be the same stitch where you worked your slip stitch, okay? That's where you're going to work your double crochet stitch. Okay, into the next two. And then in the same stitch you worked your slip stitch. Go ahead and repeat that all the way across. So I have my last set of three. Don't forget that this chain stitch here that you worked your very first cluster, you'll need to work one double crochet into the turning chain. Okay, so now you're going to repeat rows two and three three times and then you want to finish off with row two so the cluster stitches across. So you want to end after you've completed your last row of cluster stitches. So you should have a total of one, two, three, four, five of these group stitch. Okay, so I'm just going to turn my work and work my last group of stitches and then we'll move on to the next stitch pattern. I do want to note that my sample is in multiples of eight, however, it doesn't work out for this pattern. This stitch pattern actually uses multiples of three plus one. So it works with the 112 stitches, but it does not work with this sample. So you'll want to follow the pattern so that you have the correct stitch count. So now it's easier to see which side of your work is the front. If you see the clusters, you know that that's the front side of your work. And then the back side is just flat. Okay, so now we're ready for our next set of stitches. Okay, so you're going to fasten off. So you should end on the right side with, your, with these stitches. And then we're going to start the half moon stitches. Then we're going to fasten on with the olive color and when you fasten on you should be on the wrong side and we're going to be working the half moon stitches with the circles and then chain one. Now you're just going to work 
one single crochet in every stitch across. So just like before, we're not going to work into the cluster. So we're going to work one single crochet in the skip double crochet stitches and we're going to work one single crochet into the same stitch we worked our slip stitch for the cluster and then repeat that all the way across. So starting with the same stitch, one single crochet, and then into the next two skipped stitches. One, two, and then right on top of the stitch where you worked your slip stitch. Okay, repeat all the way across. Okay, for rows two and three, you're just going to work double crochet stitches. So chain three, which counts as your double crochet turn, and then you're going to work one double crochet into every stitch across. Okay, row three, same thing, chain three and turn. And then one double crochet in every stitch across. Okay, don't forget to work your last double crochet into the turning chain. Okay, so row four, this is where we'll start making the circles. You're going to chain three and this counts as a double crochet stitch. You're going to work three double crochets. Again, we're skipping this one because it belongs to the chain three up here. We're going to work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So that's one, two, and three. Okay, so now we're going to work around the post of the next stitch and then back up the post of this previous stitch and we're working into the post of the previous row. So with all those stitches, it's going to sort of block your next stitch. So you wanna grab a stitch marker and place a marker on your next stitch. And the reason you wanna do that is because you want to work into that stitch once you complete your circle. And with all those stitches, it gets a little hidden. So what we're going to do is work six double crochets down this post here for the next stitch in the previous row, and then up the previous stitch, six double crochets, and then continue on with our double crochets up here. So the easiest way to work this is to turn your work. So this is the post we wanna work into, okay? Turn your work to the side so you can see the post stitch. You're going to work six double crochets around that post, okay? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now we're going to work back up on this side, six more double crochets. So to do that, I would turn it this way. So if you turn that way, what's gonna happen is your yarn will be in front. All you have to do is just move your hook to the front. You can slip it off and slip it back in. Okay, so this is the previous stitch, okay, right here. I'm going to put my hook there so you can see. And then I'm going to fold my work so that I can see that stitch. That post right there works six double crochet stitches. It'll get a little squishy so you can slide your stitches down if you need. That's two, three, four, okay, slide it down, five, and six. Okay, so now you can turn it the right side up again. 
Okay, so this is where we marked our stitch that we're going to be working our double crochet stitch. So at first I was working it into this one because I couldn't really see that one. So if you have the same problem, make sure that you mark that stitch. So one double crochet into the next stitch. So remember, we've only been working around the post. We haven't actually worked into the next stitch. Okay, so one double crochet into that next stitch. Okay, so I'm going to remove this marker. I found it really helpful to, to place a marker when I first started this stitch, at least until you get used to it. Okay, so you want eight double crochet stitches between each of the circles. So since we've worked this first one here, we're going to work seven more in each of the next seven double crochet stitches for a total of eight double crochets starting here. Okay, so one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. One, two, three, Four, five, six. So by now you should be a pro at working double crochet stitches. So now we're going to work another circle, another one of these. Again, I'm going to place my marker into the next stitch right there. Okay. And then we're going to work our circle around these two posts. Okay, so the next stitch is here. The next stitch is here. The post for that stitch is right there. So keeping my finger on the post, I'm going to turn it sideways. And I'm going to work six double crochet stitches around the post. One, two, three, Oops. Four, five, six. Okay. So now I'm going to turn and work into this post. Okay. So right there. Again, you want to just move your hook so that the yarn is on the bottom. Six double crochets around this post. So where I marked, I'm going to work one double crochet and then into each of the next seven before I work another cluster. Okay, so you're going to repeat that all the way across. You want to work your circle and then eight double crochets and then your circle and then eight double crochets. Before you work your last circle, you should have four available stitches. So right here, now I'm going to work my circle around these two and then I'm going to end with four double crochet stitches. So six double crochets around this post here. And then six double crochets in the previous post. Okay, so again, you should have four stitches left, including the one right behind here. 
So this is the post that we worked into, and this is the first stitch that we need to work into after the circle. One, two, three, four. So work one double crochet in each of the last four stitches. Again, the last stitch is always worked into the turning chain. Okay, so we're going to work three more rows of double crochet stitches and then we'll work our next set of circle stitches. So rows five through seven will be just double crochet stitches. Six, chain three, turn, and then work double crochet stitches all the way across. Okay, so right where the circle is. Okay, so here you can see that we worked into this stitch here. That's these little stitches you see. That's the two post stitches we worked our circle. So we worked one double crochet on top of that stitch. Now you want to work one double crochet on top of this stitch. I like to count my stitches so that I don't add or miss any stitches. Okay, so continue working your double crochet stitches. Just slow down when you get to your circles so that you can make sure you work into the correct stitches. Okay, I, I forgot to move this marker. This is the last stitch before the circle. And then the very next stitch is this one here. Okay. So you want to continue. It's sort of like hopping over. You'll see this gap, but that's just for these. Okay, so continue that all the way across. And your next row of double crochets should be a lot easier. Okay, row six, chain three, turn, one double crochet in every stitch across. Row seven, chain three and turn, one double crochet in every stitch across. Okay, row eight, chain three and turn. We are ready for another row of circles. So now we're going to stagger our circles. It's going to be here and here. So between the other sets of circles, you'll have a much wider piece. So you'll just have your circles in between these ones. So this counts as a double crochet stitch. You want a total of eight stitches on the side. So you're going to continue with seven more double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in the post of the next stitch in the previous row, we're going to work our six double crochets and then six double crochets up here. And then we'll continue with eight more double crochet stitches up here. Okay, so the very next stitch here and place a marker there if you need, right on top. So around, I've turned my work sideways. Around the post, you're going to work six double crochet stitches. Okay, so now we're going to turn and work on the post from the previous stitch. Okay, six double crochets. Okay. 
Okay, so you're going to repeat one circle, eight double crochet stitches. One circle, eight double crochet stitches. So now we need eight double crochet stitches, starting with the stitch right here. Remember, it's going to be the same stitch above the post we worked in. So that's three, four, five, And eight. Okay, our next circle is going to be the post of the next stitch and the post of the previous stitch. Six double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, turn your work. You can turn however you like. If you keep turning in one direction, you'll get tangled up. Six double crochets around the previous post. Okay, after you repeat across, you will end with eight double crochets in the last eight stitches. Your eighth stitch is going to go into the turning chain. Okay, so that was row eight. Okay, so row nine is just chain three and one double crochet in every stitch across. And then you're going to repeat rows two through six. And you'll end with two rows of double crochets after your circles. So you'll have a total of 14 rows, and that's including the very first single crochet row that we made here. Okay, then I'm going to start on the next stitch pattern. Again, this is a sample, so I'm only working a few rows. Once you complete your 14 rows, you should have two rows of double crochet stitches on top of your circle rows. Now we're going to fasten off, and we're going to fasten on with the indigo color. Okay, so that's this color here, and this is the section where we're going to work the basket weave stitch. Okay, so you should start on the wrong side. So once you fasten off and fasten on with the indigo, you'll be on your wrong side and you're going to start row one with chain three. We're going to work one double crochet in every stitch across. Okay, so row two of the basket weave, chain two and turn. So the chain two counts as a double crochet stitch. Okay, so the first three stitches, we're going to work a back post double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Again, it's behind your work. So we're working behind our work, working a double crochet around the post just like we did earlier in this pattern. So we want to work three of those. Okay, that's two. And then into this third one here. Three. Okay, now we're going to switch and alternate every four stitches. So the next four stitches is going to be front post double crochets. The next four stitches is going to be back post double crochets. And we're going to repeat alternating all the way across. So front post double crochets in the next four.
So here we have three back posts. This chain three counts as a double crochet. Four front post double crochets. Now we're going to work four back post double crochets, working from the back around the post, work your double crochet. Okay, so go ahead and continue alternating your four front post double crochets and your four back post double crochets all the way across. So my last four stitches are here. I'm going to work the front post double crochets just in the last three stitches. And then I'm going to work one double crochet into the turning chain. Okay, for rows three through five, we're going to repeat row two. So we're going to chain two and turn. Again, the chain two counts as your double crochet stitch. And we're going to start with three back post double crochets, and then four front post, four back post, and repeat all the way across. And you should end with three front post double crochets, and one double crochet into the turning chain. To start with three back post double crochets, okay, front post double crochet here, Okay, my last set is only going to be three front post double crochets. And then one double crochet into the turning chain. Okay, so that was row three. So for rows four and five, just repeat the last row. So you should have four rows of the post stitches, the raised stitches. Okay, so I'm at the end of row five. Work my last three front post double crochets and my double crochet into the turning chain. Okay, row six through nine. It's going to be opposite of what we did, meaning where you see back post double crochets, you're going to work front posts. When you see the front post double crochets, you're going to work a back post. So we worked in sets of four. You also work in sets of four rows. So we're going to chain two and turn. So here, the first three, we've been working back post double crochets. Now we're going to work front post double crochet stitches. So we're changing the pattern by alternating the front and back posts. So now these are all front post double crochets. We're going to work back posts double crochet. So the next four are going to be back post double crochet stitches. Next four, it's going to be front post double crochet stitches. So repeat that all the way across and you'll end with four back post double crochets and one double crochet into the turning chain. Okay, I'm at the end of row six. 
one double crochet into the last stitch, the turning chain. Now we're for rows seven through nine, we're going to repeat row six. So chain two and turn. Remember now we're starting with the front post double crochets. So one front post double crochets in the next three stitches. The next four are back post double crochets. The next four are front post double crochets. Go ahead and repeat that all the way across and for rows eight and nine as well. Okay, that was the end of row nine, and that's it for this stitch pattern. We're going to fasten off, and we're going to attach the olive color again. And we're just going to work one row of double crochet stitches. So fasten on with your olive, chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch. We're just going to work one double crochet in every stitch across. So there's the first one, second, third, and just continue working one double crochet in every stitch across. Okay, so now for row two of the next stitch pattern, we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, turn our work. We're going to skip the first stitch here. We're going to work one double crochet into this stitch. So we're going to work a cross stitch. Okay, so now we're going to work one double crochet into the stitch that we skipped. So you want to insert your hook into that stitch that we originally skipped and work your double crochet. Okay, so that crosses the two double crochet stitches in the next two stitches. Okay, you're going to repeat skip one, one double crochet in the next, and then go back and work one double crochet into the skip stitch. You're going to repeat all the way across until your last stitch and then work one double crochet into the turning chain. All right, so here are the last three stitches. Skip one, work your double crochet in the next. Go back and work your double crochet into the skip stitch. And then one double crochet into the turning chain. Okay, so to finish off this stitch pattern, I'm going to work one more row of double crochet stitches. Chain three and turn. One double crochet in every stitch across. Okay, so now we're done with this stitch pattern. Go ahead and fasten off. And now fasten on with this yarn actually, the Symphony. Okay, so the next stitch pattern is the fan and V stitch. Going to be the largest stitch pattern because it uses one whole ball and then you start going back working your stitches this way. So this part is going to be the center of your throw blanket. Okay, so fasten on on the right side of your work. So for this stitch pattern, you're going to have to add one more stitch for the pattern to work out. So you have 112 stitches, somewhere at about 100, it doesn't really matter where, make an increase working two single crochets into one stitch. Row one, chain one. So one single crochet in the first stitch and the next stitch and every stitch across until about midpoint. And then let me show you to increase. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm just going to increase here. So in the next stitch where you want to increase, go ahead and work your single crochet and then into the same stitch you're going to work another single crochet. Okay, so now we have one additional stitch. So you should have 113 stitches. Okay, row two, we're going to chain one and turn. In the very first stitch where the chain one is, we're going to work one single crochet. Okay, now we're going to skip three stitches, one, two, three, into this fourth one, we're going to work nine double crochets. It's going to get a little tight in there, okay? So nine double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, we're going to skip three and we're going to work one single crochet in the next. So we're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip three, nine double crochets in the next. Skip three, one single crochet in the next. You should end with one single crochet in the last stitch. So one, two, three, skip those three, nine double crochets in the next stitch. Skip three, one, two, three, one single crochet, and then skip three, nine double crochets. So go ahead and repeat that all the way across. Okay, remember we added that extra stitch. So that's in order for this stitch pattern to work. So we have one, two, three stitches, and the fourth one is here. We're going to skip the three and work one single crochet into the last stitch. If we didn't increase, we would have ended up with just uh, three stitches left. Okay, row three, chain three. This counts as your double crochet stitch. Turn. We're going to work one double crochet into the same stitch as the single crochet stitch. Okay, so we're going to repeat now chain five one, two, three, four, five. And then right here where the next single crochet is, we're going to skip this fan here and we're going to work a V stitch here. So that's one double crochet, chain one and one double crochet right into this single crochet. One double crochet, chain one, one double crochet into the same stitch. Okay, so repeat, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip this, all these stitches here, a V stitch into the next, which is the single crochet, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. So repeat that all the way across until you get to the last stitch. You're going to work Instead of a V stitch here, you're just going to work two double crochets. One and two. Okay, row four, you're going to chain three and turn. Again, this counts as a double crochet stitch. We're going to work four double crochets into that same stitch. One, two, three, and four. 
So what you should have is four double crochets and the chain three, which is five double crochets. Okay, so we're going back two rows to the fan. You're going to work into the center of this stitch. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're working one single crochet right into the center of your fan stitch and we're going to catch this chain five. So insert your hook in the center of your fan stitch. Okay, make sure when you yarn over that you're grabbing the chain five as well. And then when you yarn over again to complete your single crochet, make sure that the chain five stitch is in there. Okay. Now we're going to work nine double crochets into this chain one space. It's going to be a lot easier than before when you worked it into a tiny little stitch. So one, two, three, four, And nine. So a little caution, I would get interrupted and I go back to count my double crochets and I kept counting this one here which is actually the chain five. <laughs> so <laughs> I ended up with less double crochet stitches than I needed. So if you forgot how many you crocheted and you need to go back and count, make sure you don't count your chain five stitches here. Okay, because they run along the, the um, bottom of your row and it looks just like it's part of your double crochet stitch. Okay, so I have nine double crochets. Now we want to work one single crochet into the fan again and catching this chain five. So I'm just going to count the posts one, two, three, four, five into the center, the fifth double crochet stitch, insert your hook Make sure that the chain five is on top of your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. Make sure you catch that chain five stitch. All right, so go ahead and repeat, working your nine double crochets into the chain one space where the V is. And then you're going to work one single crochet on top of the center of your fan stitch, catching the chain five stitch. When you get to the end of your row, work your single crochet to that fifth double crochet stitch, and then work five double crochets into this space here. One, two, three, four, five. Row five, we're going to chain three one, two, three, and then we're going to turn. Now we're going to go straight to the single crochets between each of the fan stitches, and we're going to work our V stitch. So again, that V stitch is two, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. Okay, now we're going to repeat, chain five, three, four, five, a V stitch into the next single crochet, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet into the single crochet. Chain five, two, three, four, five, a V stitch into the next single crochet. So that's one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet stitch. Okay, so now we're just going to chain two 
and we're going to slip stitch to the top of this turning chain here. Okay, so insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then pull through the loop on your hook. Row six, you're going to chain one and turn. And then you're going to work one single crochet right into the same turning chain that you worked your slip stitch. So right there, that's where you worked your slip stitch. Work one single crochet. We're going to work nine double crochets into the chain one space in the center of the V stitch. Okay, so now we're going to work our single crochet in the center of this nine double crochets. So count five stitches and insert your hook. Work a single crochet catching this strand here, the chain five. Okay, so repeat that across, nine double crochets, single crochet on the top catching the chain five. Okay, when you get to the last set of nine double crochet stitches, you're going to work one single crochet into the turning chain. Okay, row seven, you're going to chain three and turn. We're going to work one double crochet into the same stitch as your chain three. Now we're going to repeat chain five, three, four, five, and then a V stitch into the next single crochet here. And the V stitch is again, one double crochet, chain one and one double crochet. Chain five, and a V stitch. So repeat all the way across. And end with two double crochets into the single crochet here. Okay, that was row seven. For rows 8 through 13, you're going to repeat rows 2 through 7 once. And then for rows 14 through 18, you're going to repeat rows 2 through 6 once. Okay, once you've completed rows 8 through 18, you're going to work row 19. So chain 3 and turn. And this is the last row for this stitch pattern. Again, this is just a sample. Okay, so you're going to work one double crochet into that same stitch. And you're going to chain two. And then work one single crochet into the top of this fan stitch here. Chain two and then work a V stitch in a single crochet right here. One double crochet, chain one and one double crochet. Chain two, one single crochet in the center of the fan stitch. Chain two, a V stitch, one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. So you're going to repeat that all the way across. When you get to the end, you're going to chain two, two double crochets into the last stitch. So 
So you should end on the wrong side and fasten off here. Now we're going to work back the other direction. And what I mean by that is, remember I said this was our center stitch. Okay, so here you have the fan and V stitch. Now we're going to work our double crochets and cross stitches. And then we're going to work our basket weave stitch. Here you have the half moon stitches. So these are the embossed pockets. Okay, and we'll end with this set here. So fasten on with your olive color and you should be on the right side of your work. You're going to chain three, which counts as your first double crochet stitch. So you're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch here. This is the stitch that belongs to the chain three. So into the next stitch, one double crochet. And into this chain two space here, we're going to work two double crochet stitches. One, two. Into the single crochet, one double crochet stitch. Chain two, we're going to work two double crochets. Into the V stitch we're going to work one double crochet in the first double crochet stitch, and then one double crochet into the chain one space, and then one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. Okay, so for every chain two you work two double crochets, for every single crochet you work one double crochet, for the V's you work one to three double crochets and we'll repeat that all the way across. Okay, so you repeat until the last two stitches. We're going to work double crochet two together. So we had to increase one stitch for this stitch pattern here. So we're going to decrease one stitch to bring it back down to 112. Okay, so yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and then we're going to yarn over, work into this turning chain, so insert your hook into the turning chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, now we're going to yarn over and pull through all three. So now we're back down to 112 stitches. So for the next row, we're going to chain three, counts as a double crochet stitch. And we're going to work cross stitches like we did before. The repeat is skip one, one double crochet, and then one double crochet in this skip stitch. Because we've already gone over these stitches, I'm just going to explain it and um, I won't be spending too much time on these stitches. Okay, with three stitches left, you're going to skip one, one double crochet, and one double crochet into the skipped stitch, and then one double crochet into the turning chain. So skip one, one double crochet into the next, go back and work one double crochet into the skipped stitch, and then one double crochet into the turning chain. The last row of this stitch pattern, chain three, turn, and we're just going to work one double crochet all the way across. Last stitch, one double crochet into the turning chain. So fasten off here, and then you want to fasten on with the indigo velvet color, and we'll start our basket weave stitch. So you want to fasten on on the wrong side, so once you fasten on, you're on the wrong side of your work. You're going to chain three, and you're going to work one double crochet in every stitch across. Okay, row two, you're going to chain three and turn. So this is where we work our basket weave stitch. 
We're going to start with three back post double crochets. Remember that's working around the post from the back. Okay, there's this is the second one and the third one. Okay, so now we're going to work in sets of four. Four front post double crochets, four back post, four front posts. So repeat alternating between the front post double crochets and the back post double crochets. And you're going to alternate every four stitches until you get to your last four stitches. Okay, last four stitches. I'm going to work three front post double crochets. And then in the last stitch, we're going to work one double crochet into the turning chain. For rows three through five, you're going to repeat row two, row three, chain three and turn. I'm just going to repeat once and then we'll work on rows six through nine. Okay, once you complete rows three through five, this is my last stitch, one double crochet into the turning chain. For rows six through nine, you're going to chain three and turn. Now you're going to start with three front post double crochets. So it should be the opposite of what you've been doing. Okay, now you're going to alternate between back post double crochets, front post double crochets, back post double crochets. And you're going to repeat that all the way to the end until the last four stitches. I'm at the end of row six. Finish off with three back post double crochets and then one double crochet into the turning chain. Okay. So here's the turning chain, one double crochet into the turning chain. Okay, repeat that for rows seven through nine, and that'll be the end of the basket weave stitch. Once you've completed row nine of your basket weave stitch, you're going to fasten off and you just yarn over, pull through and through. So the reason why I'm fastening off is because now we're actually going to fasten on on the same side over here. So this is the wrong side. I'm going to make a slip knot and we're going to be working the half moon stitches. And then I'm going to find my, this is my turning chain. I'm going to insert my hook on top of the turning chain and then place that loop there. Tighten it. Okay, so row one, we're going to chain one and work one single crochet into the same stitch. Okay, so one single crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into every stitch across. So right here, I'm just, I'm catching the tail and just crocheting right over it. So one single crochet all the way across. Okay, last stitch. Now for rows two and three, I'm going to chain three and turn and then work one double crochet into every stitch across. I'm 
going to work right over this tail here. Okay, row three, chain three and turn. Again, just one double crochet in every stitch across. Okay, so row four, chain three and turn. This is the row that we're going to work our circles. So you want to work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. That chain three counts as your first double crochet stitch. Okay, so now we're going to work into the next stitch, one row below around the post. We're going to work six double crochets and then back up this side, six double crochets. So six double crochets this way and back up this way. Again, there are timestamps in the description box if you need to go back to the beginning where I worked the stitches much slower. Okay, so I'm going to turn. Now I'm going to work six double crochets up this direction. Again, our first stitch we're working into is right behind this circle, so make sure you don't miss that. So that will be your first stitch, and then you want to work seven more, so eight double crochet stitches. So right behind the circle, that's one. Eight. Okay, now I'm ready to work another circle into the next stitch one row below around the post, six double crochets, and then six double crochets up this side, the previous stitch around the post, and then we'll continue on repeating. Okay, so eight double crochet stitches, and you're going to repeat that until your last circle, and then you should have four double crochets left. Okay, so that's the end of row four. For rows five through seven, you're going to work double crochets across. So for rows five, chain three and turn. This is going to be the same for rows six and seven as well one double crochet in every stitch across. Okay, once you've completed row seven, we'll start row eight, chain three and turn. Okay, keep in mind that I did not work rows six and seven, so my circles will be closer together, but you will need to work rows six and seven, which is just another two rows of double crochet stitches. So right here, they're scattered and they're further apart. Just in this example, you'll see them a little bit closer. So for row eight, you're going to chain three and turn, and this chain three counts as a stitch, so we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Okay, now we're going to work our circle around this post and then back up this post. Remember, it should be staggered. It should be in between these two circles. Again, it should be a little bit further up here, but this is just a sample.
Okay, back up this side. This post here, I like to fold mine in half. Six double crochet stitches. Okay, so your repeat is going to be the circle stitch and then eight double crochets. So now we work eight double crochets starting with the stitch that's right behind the circle. And then you're going to repeat that all the way across. So you'll end with eight double crochets at the end of your row. Okay, then row nine is just double crochet stitches again. Chain three and turn. One double crochet in every stitch across. Once you've completed row nine, for rows 10 through 14, you're going to repeat rows two through six, and you should have a total of 14 rows. Okay, once you've completed row 14, you should end with the right side facing you. Go ahead and fasten off, and then you want to turn to your wrong side and fasten on with the frosted pine color. Once you've fastened on with the new color, you're going to chain three. This counts as your double crochet stitch. And then just work one double crochet in every stitch across. Okay, row two, we're just going to turn. And we're going to work our first cluster right on that first post. Okay, one single crochet, one half double crochet, and one double crochet around the same post. So one single crochet, one half double crochet, and one double crochet. Skip two stitches. In the third, work a slip stitch. Now around the post where you slip stitch, you're going to work another cluster or pocket group stitch. One single crochet, one half double crochet, and one double crochet all around the same post. Repeat, skip two, one slip stitch in the next, and then pocket stitch around the same post, one single crochet, one half double crochet, and one double crochet all around the same post. It's going to be the same post where you worked your slip stitch. Skip two and work a slip stitch. Okay, so repeat that all the way across. Work your pocket stitch, skip two, and then a slip stitch. And then repeat all the way across. Okay, so now we're going to start row three chain three and turn and we're going to work one double crochet in every stitch across remember we're not working into the group here we're just working into the skipped double crochets and in the same stitch we worked our slip stitch okay so you're going to repeat those two rows rows two and three another three times and then you finish off with row two, which is the cluster pocket stitches. So I'm just going to work another one of these. And you're going to repeat rows two and three, three times. And then you wanna finish off with row two, so the cluster stitches across. So you wanna end after you've completed your last row of cluster stitches. One single crochet, one half and one double crochet all around the post. Repeat, starting with the group stitch, skip two, and then one slip stitch. Okay, group stitch. That's 
one single crochet, one half double crochet, and one double crochet all in one post, skip two, and one slip stitch. Repeat that all the way across. Okay, so now you want to fasten off and fasten on the olive color. Now we're just going to work three rows of half double crochets. Grab your olive color and fasten on with that. You should be on the wrong side now. So once you fasten on, you're going to chain two. That counts as your first half double crochet stitch. You're going to work one half double crochet in every stitch across. Remember that our last stitch pattern is going to look a little different, so we're working in the skipped double crochet stitches and into the same stitch we worked our slip stitches. So one half double crochet in every stitch across. Okay, once you work three rows of your half double crochets, you're going to fasten off and then fasten on with your symphony yarn. Okay, so you're going to fasten on on the right side of your work. So we're going to start off with a chain one, one single crochet in every stitch across. Okay, remember when we first started, we actually started right here and then we worked this way and then we had two foundation rows. So those are the two rows we're working on right now. So we'll just call them setup rows. So your first setup row is just one single crochet across. Okay, so our setup row two is chain two and turn. The chain two counts as your first half double crochet. Okay, so we're going to skip two stitches. This stitch here belongs to the chain two. So we're skipping one, two. In the third stitch, we're going to work two double crochet stitches. One, two. Now we're going to chain two. And then into the next stitch, work two double crochet stitches. One, two. So if you've made it this far, congratulations, you are almost done with your blanket. We're going to skip two and then work one half double crochet into the next stitch. So the repeat is going to be one half double crochet, skip two, two double crochets, chain two, and then two double crochets in the next, and then skip two and one half double crochet. Okay, one half double crochet, skip two, two double crochets, one, two, chain two, one, two, into the next stitch, two double crochets, into the next stitch, two double crochets. Skip two, one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Skip two, two double crochets into the next stitch. Okay, skip two and then one half double crochet into the turning chain. This one's a little tight here. Okay, now we're ready for row one. Chain two and turn. Again, that is your half double crochet into the chain two space here. We're going to work two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets right into the chain two space. So there's one, two, chain two, and then two more double crochets into the same chain two space. One, two. We're going to go directly to the half double crochet stitches. We're going to work one front post double crochet around each of the next two half double crochets. Okay, chain two space, work the set of two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. 
So repeat that all the way across and you want to end with one half double crochet into the last stitch. Okay, front post double crochet around the half double crochet stitches and then the set of two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. You want to end with one half double crochet in the turning chain. This was our chain two. On top of the chain two, you want to work your last half double crochet stitch. Okay, chain two and turn. Okay, chain two space, work your set of two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Okay. Now instead of a front post double crochet, we want to keep the raised stitches on the right side of our work. So we're going to work back post double crochet stitches. This will maintain the raised stitches on the right side of our work. Okay, chain two space, work your set of two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. So repeat that all the way across ending with one half double crochet into the last stitch. Just remember to maintain your post stitches. You want them all on the same side. Okay, into the turning chain, one half double crochet. Again, just like the beginning of our blanket, you want to work five of these clusters or shell stitches. Okay, so you're going to repeat rows one and two until you have five of these. Five of these um, double crochets, chain two and double crochets. I call them shells. Okay, don't fasten off when you're done. Now I decided to work single crochets across the edge and I decided to use the color that I use for that row. So starting on the very edge, I'm going to chain one and I work these very loosely. So right here, this was our half double crochet. I'm going to insert my hook through the post and work one single crochet. And then I'm just going to look for the next stitch. I'm going to insert it right here and work a single crochet. Again, work your stitches loosely. So I think here I have like one, two, three rows. I'm just going to work three single crochet. Okay. And then right here, I will just work another single crochet. So this would be a start of the new color. So then I would switch out my color and continue working single crochet stitches. Again, work these single crochet stitches loosely. Don't pull on it so tight. So you'll be able to see right away if your stitches are getting too tight. So that means that it's puckering and you're, you're either working it too tight or you don't have enough stitches along the edge. And if it starts to get a little wavy, then you have too many stitches so then you can just adjust accordingly. So when you get to these group or cluster stitches, they actually cover up the post stitches that you wanna work in. So what I did is just go into the very next post and work the single crochet around that and work it again very loosely. And then I just keep working single crochets across, switching out my yarn depending on what color it is. So if you want the right side 
of your single crochet to show on the right side, you would need to fasten off and start on this end so that every your single crochets are on the right side of your work. So once you finish that side, you can then fasten off and fasten on the other side and work your single crochet stitches. Okay, so don't forget to weave in all the pesky ends. Okay, so let me show you what the side looks like. So I switch colors each time I went into a new section to work my single crochets on the edge. I think this is my favorite part here. It looks like mermaid scales. Thank you so much for watching and crocheting this throw blanket along with me. I've had so much fun designing it and I hope you've learned a few new stitches and I can't wait to see your project. Don't forget to tag me on your social media posts.